Right now we're just driving around making sure all the gears are shifting in. Uh, it seems like the first gear, first to second is kind of rough or harsh. Um, and even on the downshift. So we're going to drive it in see if we can get this to, uh, might be a little tight. And uh, see if we can get some of the clutches to wear out a little bit and then we'll go back and we'll do a trans learn on it to see. It. We've already done a trans learn one time. But like I said, uh, once I took it earlier for a drive, the shift felt a little uh, harsh. So we're going to um, drive it around a little bit and then uh, see like that and see if we can get it to uh, shift a little bit better. Um, and then we'll send the log over to CH Tunes and have him uh, see if he sees anything where he can add more line pressure or take some line pressure away. Um, and uh, go from there. But I mean, it has the stage three from again, Pure Drive Train Solutions. Got the best of the best in it as far as their top tier. You really think we're gonna push this thing uh, pretty up there? I know there's been a lot of 3 0 Whipple, I mean, sorry, 3 8 Whipple trucks done. Um, and a lot of people are going to turbos now. We still wanna make a number with the 3 8 Whipple um, and we'll probably add a nitrous to it. Uh, will probably end up being a 300 shot with a smaller fully probably like a 350 uh, i would like to go smaller but uh, you know just for safety reasons on the blower we'll, we'll probably keep it at a 350 with a 300 shot of nitrous eventually right now it's just on blower only um so those are the little parts i'm talking about where you can actually see i don't know if you can see it in the camera kind of goes back and forth i uh, was kind of uh, having a harsh uh shift the more we drive it the less it's doing it which is a good sign um and then uh if we we've already top off the fluid we've already so we've done all the stuff that uh needs to be done for the transmission to be shifted correctly um if it doesn't get any better than this we will contact uh pure drive chain and see what they recommend maybe they have a different break-in period of uh, procedure that they that we don't know of um, but this is not the first one that we purchased from them. This is actually our second stage three transmission. Uh, the other one's on a WK2 uh, SRT Jeep. And then now this one. So we'll just uh, play it by ear and go from there and see what happens. But for meanwhile, we'll just enjoy the ride right now and uh, watch our trans temps and all that and then see how everything works out. I'll give you guys an update on what happens, whether it's... Uh, a tuning issue or whether it's a uh, mechanical issue we'll, we'll let you guys know whatever it is I definitely want to go back to the shop and check out that. Check out that uh, that one or two shift. I mean, at least it goes into all the gears, radio mode, and all that. Okay, kind of hits hard though. See. Yeah. manually go through the gears see it's just it's harsh but the higher the gears the easier but yeah I think we'll have to go back and do a uh, another relearn and then uh, log this next one right there I have to help it Third gear. So, Johnny. 
Hey, dude, what, what, what am I looking at? We're Baja mode? So it's like, it drags on the gear only on Baja mode? Yeah, only on Baja mode. Like, if you take off from a, a desktop to take off, it was, uh, I want to say second or third. You did want to shift. But you were saying that that was a transmission. Get it out. Okay. And, uh, all right. So just leave it and drive then, right? Yeah. Leave, leave it and drive and try to get on it? And it wouldn't go yeah, from, it, it, uh, yeah, it wouldn't go from first to second or second to third. Okay. All right. Cool. I'm, I'm driving it around right now, and then uh, well, so far so good. A uh, little bit of harsh uh, shifts, uh, so we're trying to break in the trans a little bit. Um, okay. And then, uh, so I'm also gonna log it. And uh, we'll get a quick drive that we just did right now for uh, to see where the because they just finished topping off all the fluids and all that. So I want to see where it's at. So I'll keep you updated on that. I just wanted to make sure what what was it doing so that way I look out for it. Okay. Yeah, because remember we jumped on the freeway, went into Baja, and then when we took off, like it it like shifted weird, like it was giving out. And you were like, oh, that's. And that was from first. That was, that was on. That was on first to second, right, or second to third. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go back to the shop, get my laptop, and then we'll go from there. Okay. All right, brother. Thanks. And then uh, you said it's going in to get the uh, intake. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. Oh, okay. So, uh, say Wednesday. Perfect. Yeah, Wednesday. Sounds good, dude. Okay. All right, man. Sounds good, man. Thanks. All right. Bye. Every transmission shop does it differently. You get me? Every They have their own little secret right. sauce or whatnot. So all these builders keep changing the way they build right. their trans. So it's not really like there's a baseline for whatever being built because every trans person is doing their own thing. Um we deal with Paramount Transmission, we deal with SHR, we deal with Pure Drive Stream Solutions. So, every single one of them has their own way of building and their spacing and what all, whatever else they do. So, some of them ride around, do some tight fits. Um, but we've, we've had, things going on with everybody there's so there's not there's not that one shop that says oh wow this is a shop i mean everybody just like us you know have their ups and downs and has their issues going on so we've seen it with all so like i said there's not one transmission shop that we say oh yeah this guy's 100 percent perfect for the fourth has a hard hit hard hit on four to fifth and then coming down shifts four to third it's a harsh downshift third to second sam's uh, slams the gear, even makes the tire chirp. Same thing for one and two. One and two for part throttle is hard shifts. Two to three hard shifts, and then three to four just like thumps. So those are all stuff that we need to correct. Uh, so right now we're logging all the trans stuff as far as pressures and all that. So. TRX 2021 came in, uh, I want to say back to 22. We put a 3 whip on it, camshaft. We built the motor. Um, and it made about a thousand horsepower or a little less than a thousand the first time around. Customer bought it back. We did some upgrades on it. We did a 15% overdrive from MMX. 
Uh, we went with the 3.0 pulley on top. We made around close to 1,050 to the wheel. And then we ran into issues. Uh, we ran into head gasket issues. It started lifting. Customer would complain that the reservoir would, he would find pulling. And there's actually, you can see there's still excess pulling from when it was doing it. So, uh, we went ahead and did the 625 head bolts for it. We did a seven layer head gasket. And, uh, we actually upgraded the 3.0 Whipple to a 3.8 Whipple. Uh, we currently have a 3.625 pulley on it. Just got off the dyno. Roughly made around 11.60 to the wheels. Like I said, with stock pulley, obviously we have the larger uh, overdrive than our normal 10%. Um, we put a pure drivetrain uh, transmission in it, um, and it's their stage three. So we went uh, full kill mode on the trans. And uh, yeah, uh, right now we're just getting doing some cosmetics. We got to do the tubing for the 130 mil since the 112 tube is too small now. Um, customer still wants a little more. I uh, don't know how much we can push this motor more. Uh, we probably will have to upgrade and still on a booster pump. Uh, obviously, we're going to upgrade to a four innovation triple pump system and uh, eventually probably put a bigger stroker motor in it to reach the customer's needs of what he wants. He wants to see 1400 horsepower on this. Um, I definitely think it's doable. Uh, just like I said, we need to do all the supporting mods and we also wanted to get the customer to get used to this. 1160 horsepower not saying that the guy won't be able to get used to it but we want to get all the data we can when we go to the track and dial it in 100 percent so the customers it's running consistently for the customer basically so yeah can't wait to uh turn this baby up but like i said right now still on conservative tune and um we'll see what happens from here